Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to the Season of Mastery. We are headed to the south to take on the People's Militia Part 3, I believe this is. And I don't quite remember if this is the last part of the chain or if we get one more. I have a feeling that we get at least one more. But this is going to take us down here in the little valley that lies south of Moonbrook. And yeah, that's really all that we're working on right now. We don't have any other quests besides a breadcrumb that takes us to Loch Modan and a breadcrumb that takes us to Lakeshire. Of the two of these, we're at level to go to Loch Modan. Uh, we're a little bit lower level uh, than we need to be to go to Red Ridge. So yeah, we'll just kind of play it by ear and see what happens. Obviously my early fears and some folks fears of out leveling areas, it, it's not going to happen. Not with just a 40% increase to quest experience at least. Well, we kind of wandered into the middle of a level 17 knoll camp. Let's, let's get out of that. And uh, we can chase herbs somewhere else. We've been talking a little bit about getting a guild together today. So maybe like future me will know how this pans out. But right now... Right now I'm still kind of on the fence, like part of me says I, I wouldn't mind if you guys went ahead and made a guild. As long as I am not counted on to run the day-to-day -day business of it. Uh, just because I don't think that I have the time or attention to do that adequately and do a good job of it. I wouldn't want to take on that responsibility and then let a bunch of people down. So yeah, um... Part of me wouldn't mind it. The other part of me that has had not so great experiences with most groups of people in guilds, uh, excepting one guild that I was in for years, uh, starting in Wrath, uh, my experiences with guilds in WoW have not been great. And my experience with the community in general is, is one of the big reasons why these days I mainly play alone. You guys have all been really chill. And so far, everything has been respectful and helpful, and I really appreciate all that in the Discord. So yeah, part of me says I wouldn't mind a guild, but then I know that guilds tend to, to grow. They tend to snowball, sometimes outside of their original intentions. And that's the part that worries me. What happens when we pull in more unknowns? And if you stack enough unknowns together, eventually you're going to have a negative outcome. And then it's just the fact that I don't have a lot of tolerance for things that I think are disrespectful. For things that I think are not necessary. Uh, for things that I think are harmful. I don't have a lot of tolerance for that. I don't give a lot of chances. I, I try to set like a baseline of my expectations and then when those expectations are clear but they aren't met, I act on it. Which means I would probably be pretty free with the G-Kick if I had to be. Um, and that's not really what I want, but it, it's what would have to be. We need to get one more, there we go, one more melee swing there to finish that off. Let's, let's try to find somewhere safer to fight, shall we? Meanwhile, we'll pop a potion. Uh, Hagrid? Yeah, we'll, we'll join your group, Hagrid. Mainly because we are probably going to die if we don't. Yeah, there we go. That worked for like 10 seconds. You know, we got down there, we immediately got killed. I can't... I obviously can't talk about things that I care a lot about and play the game at the same time. <laughs> doesn't usually work out. Somehow we still got credit for that one, maybe because we were alive when it was being killed, I don't know. Yeah, Robert, stop talking about things that you care about. Focus on playing the game, man. Well, this gives me more time to talk if I want, and time to drink my coffee, which is definitely what I'm gonna do. Sorry for the early death, but yeah, time to walk away, get a sandwich. 
etc. Part of me is like really cynical about people, and it's not a part of me that I'm proud of, and it's not a part of me that I try to put on display too much. But yeah, I don't have a lot of faith in the general run-of-the-mill humanity that exists on the internet. So when it comes to like recruiting outside of what we've got going on in Discord and just stuff like that, I guess I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to recruit someone that hasn't found us on their own, basically. And then I would hope that that would solve any potential problems in and of itself. Uh, which isn't always the case, but... I said, you guys have been really good. Alright. Well, blew all of our potions because of that, so let's get those going again. Okay, there we go. And Hagrid, good job getting the name Hagrid. I mean, you did spell it with an E, but you still got it, man. It's awesome. These guys are kind of beating the crap out of us, um, in reality. Get a bandage in here. I think this dwarf over here has the quest uh, that we need hops for. I think we do have some hops. Yeah, we do. Is it going to be enough? That I don't know. But we are going to run over here and find out. We're also going to turn track herbs back on because... Herbs. We need all the herb. Grimboo's Thunderbrew. Yep. There. Great. Watch your back. What's on your mind? Be good. Okay, yeah, not sure that we actually got any experience for that, but there we go, it's done. Let's go help Hagrid out. He's kind of soloing it for us, and I feel a little bad about that. We've also probably got bodies to loot somewhere, but I'm not seeing any. No respawns up back here yet. And I'm sure some of you guys, like, actually know a lot more about the game, especially about Endgame than I do, and would probably be much better guild leaders and much better raid leaders than me. That is just a certifiable fact. Yeah, hey, Green Goblin, man, you just nailed it in, in Discord, too. Green Goblin says, I honestly have reservations about a guild. While there is a mellow atmosphere now, a guild inevitably brings someone in that just lives to argue and cause drama. I would rather use the friends list 
on a social tab, but that's just me. Yeah, that's kind of like one of my fears too, is like no matter how good you are at like kind of vetting people, or no matter how chill your community seems, eventually you're going to get a couple of people in there that, you know, they're just there for the drama. It doesn't have to be that way, but so often it does end up just like that. And like the solution to that obviously is you could say, well, someone's being a dick, you kick them. And you can do that, and like I have no problem doing that. Uh, nothing gives me more joy than to boot a dick. But by doing that, sometimes you it's like a snowball effect. Like so, There's always going to be people that don't understand what's going on, and they, they're confused about why someone is being kicked, and what did they do that was so wrong. And then all of a sudden, you not only have to deal with that one person, but you have to deal with any of the friends that they might have made in the guild uh, while they were there. And that gets messy. <laughs> Dealing with people and their feelings gets messy. Who would have thought? And yeah, I'm not much of a feelings person when it comes to dealing with uh, those issues in other people. Like, I'm not going to be the person who has a lot of sympathy for bad behavior, basically. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I guess I should be paying attention to what we need. We have Pathstalkers and Knuckle Dusters done. We still need a bunch of Highwaymen, so we're good. We're good here. Uh, okay. Cool. Let's get a Thunderclap in. Got the Overpower proc, but we didn't get a chance to Overpower. How much Rage? Only five Rage. Not sure what happened with that. Uh, we don't need this guy, technically. Ah, uh, what is this? 2 strength, 8.7 as opposed to 8.2... 14 to 26. I'm going to roll on that. I am going to roll on that because it's an upgrade. And then we're going to actually try to equip it here. Oh, we didn't get it. <laughs> There's other people in the world, Robert. They need things too. I see that now. And the slider, you pointed out that the guild would mostly be used for the bank and Di and Discord would be used for finding people to do dungeons with. Yeah, that's like kind of my thing about one of the few reasons why I would like to have a guild is just for the bank, for the communal storage, being able to toss stuff in that's going to help other people uh, in the community. And being able to see at a glance what level everyone's at and stuff is always neat too. You know, you can just turn on the guild tab, see where everyone's at, what they're doing, what level they are. Uh, makes that a little bit easier. I feel like I'm not helping these folks very much, uh, but I have been a little bit talkative. Yeah, who knows, by the time I get this video up onto YouTube, we will probably either have a guild or not have a guild already. Uh, because I don't know how long I can go back and forth with the idea. Oh, you're level 18. That explains a couple things. Let's pop that potion early this time.
Pathstalker we don't need. I've got bu a busted pair of bracers that needs uh, to be repaired. Oh, these guys are far out there. Are there enemies that far back that we need for this, or are they moving on to something else? Hmm. Guess we could head over this way and find out. Renegade Mage and a couple of Highwaymen. I don't want to go in on these uh, because they're level 18 and there are three of them, so they probably would just melt us. Okay, so there are Pathstalker. I don't think I've ever fought these guys out here. Oh, look how cool that is. There's like ru a ruined building over here. Very cool. Demont's Place. Yeah, never fought over here. Surprisingly. Uh, we're starting to get some wool cloth now. That's great. Nobody else here in this little encampment that we need, though. I am going to run out here and grab the Peace Bloom. And then we might need to go back into the valley to get the last five highwaymen that we need. This up here is also a knuckle duster. We don't need him. Yeah, maybe we need to find a way. Let's just go back into the valley. These guys might need different enemies than we do. Maybe they're still working on their knuckle dusters. Either way, we're going to come back over this way. Uh, like, here's a highwayman right here. We'll see how we do against him at level 18. We keep our bleed going and we keep our health up between fights, we should be okay. That being said, if they run like this and get too far, we could be in a lot of trouble. I'm going to hop out of this group that I have been sitting in. Those guys have went on to bigger and better things, I'm pretty sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
basically what I don't want to end up inadvertently creating in a guild is a space where we, myself, other people have to tolerate the negativity of a few or even like the toxic positivity of a few, which, which is something to me that is equally as bad as blatant negativity. And I'm not talking about negativity like complaining about shit. Everybody complains about stuff and like having a place to do that is great. I'm talking about negativity aimed at specific people or the ways that specific people play the game and the things that they do or the things that they like or the things that they are. Like targeted negativity. Not just complaining about the respawn rate, how it's killing you over and over again and how it sucks. Like that's like a type of complaining that is healthy. There are types of complaining, like when it's directed at other people, their behaviors, their mannerisms, their likes and dislikes, that is wholly unhealthy and destructive. And that's the kind of stuff that I don't tolerate. Um, and some people say, well, everyone's entitled to have an opinion. You are definitely entitled to have an opinion. You can have all the opinions you want. No one is entitled to have their opinion be correct. And there are plenty of places on the internet where you can have your unbridled opinion. Uh, and that place will never be a place that I'm associated with. Uh, if I have anything to say about it. So that's kind of my worries. I think I have more worries about being associated with a guild than I do like benefits from it. Or like positive thoughts about it. It'd be great to have a bank. It'd be great to be able to check people's level and more easily find out who wants to do a group. Uh, that being said, unleashing something into the environment of WoW uh, is not something I, I, I don't know if I'm ready for that level of responsibility. I also don't want to end up having to be like a part-time moderator. You know what I mean? I, I taught corporate classes uh, for new hires and stuff for about six years and in every class you get a person or maybe it's a couple of people who are just really difficult participants. Maybe they find the material boring, maybe they don't really want to be taking the job and they didn't really have a choice, they just don't want to be there, right? They don't want to be there, but they're there anyway because there really isn't another place for them to be. And these people just cause problems in a class. And that, those problems affect the other participants who are actually there to engage properly. And then as the facilitator of the class, I, I would have to manage these people. Sometimes managing them, you know, would start off with polite managing and then move through many stages of having to basically get them out of my class, right? And I don't really want to go back to that. That was my job for a long time. It's not my job anymore. And that's by choice. So I don't really know if I want to put myself back in a position where I'm responsible for moderating people and their behaviors and all that stuff. Alright, we're 15 out of 15, so I could keep talking and fighting down here, or we could just hearth out. And we can get this turned in. Let's check out our bags and make sure that we're good there. Oh, uh, did we just sell something we needed? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think that's basically all we can do. That looks good. Uh, we can get the next level of food now if we want. We can... Oh, that was that was five silver. That's actually quite a bit of silver. So we're not gonna get... <laughs> we're not gonna get much more of that. Uh, because yeah, that that's a lot. Should have looked twice there before I decided to click twice. Be careful. Alright, let's get this turned in and see whether or not it chains into anything else.
What can I do for you? When I left the tainted lands of Lordaeron, I returned to a grim state of affairs here in my homeland, but there is hope for Westfall yet. As proven by your valor in battle, it is obvious to me that you serve our cause with honor. It is with great pride that I induct thee into the people's militia. May the light shine upon you. Uh, here we go. What do we want to do here? This would be a pretty big upgrade, I feel like, for our main hand. Although the one we have right now is decent. The question I have to ask myself is, can we tank dead mines <laughs> with the sword and shield we have? That is my question. This is a level 11 sword, so I feel like the sword is actually okay. Uh, the shield might not be too great. 8.4 as opposed to 8.2, which is not a big difference. The 9 to 18 is less than the 11 to 20. I think we're going with the two-hander. Light bless you. Let's go with the two-hander, and we'll run around with that for a while, and we will at least get our two-handed skill up a little bit. And then we're going to hold on to the sword and shield for when we do dead mines. And yeah, guys, unless I missed something, like something huge, I'm not seeing any more quests here. A part of me doesn't really believe it. So yeah, I'm running up to the top of the tower to make sure there's not like some forgotten quest giver up here. We didn't do anything in Moonbrook. Yeah, we, we didn't do anything in Moonbrook, so, like, what did I miss? We've uncovered the map. We've explored basically everywhere. We have not, like, gone into Moonbrook proper. And the only thing we have at level to do is to head over for Stormpike's delivery. Which I really don't want to do right this minute because, like I said, I, I'd like to stay over here on this continent or on this part of the continent so that we can so that we can do dead mines at some point. Uh, but yeah, there seems to be a sudden lack of stuff to do. Le oh, we don't have another point. I already spent that. That's good. So yeah, uh, what to do now? What can we do now? I guess I'm going to take a little break and think about it. Maybe the next thing I do will be to try to do a Dead Mines run. That will probably have to wait till maybe later in the evening. So yeah, sorry guys, this episode is probably going to be a little bit of a short one. And it's obviously going to be a lot of me just what are you looking ranting for? on about guilds. And overall being pretty indecisive. And I apologize for that. Hopefully next time we'll have something a little bit more exciting in store. Conversely, like, we could go... We could leave our Hearthstone set here. And we could travel over uh, into Loch Modan and do some things there. We just wouldn't have the benefit of being able to Hearth back uh, to a convenient place. Be Which careful. is fine. We, it would be a little bit more running. But with herbalism and stuff, uh, we could stand to do the running. It could benefit us to do more running. So, like, maybe I'll plan for both. I'm going to get us over to Stormwind and kind of park it there. Okay, and you. then I'll see what are the chances of getting a Deadmines run together. I'd like to get that done before we totally leave here. Uh, and never come back. So, yeah, I'm going to think things over. Park us in Stormwind for now. And, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll be catching up with you guys on Discord. Share some of my thoughts there about the guild and whatnot. And, yeah. Still having a great time in the Season of Mastery. The leveling is not as quick as I kind of thought it was going to be. I do want to say that. So for everyone who is worried that the leveling boost was kind of going to ruin the spirit of Classic. And it was going to make the content seem uh, worthless and non-immersive. That we're going to blow through zones and out-level quests. It hasn't happened yet. I guess I can't say that it won't ever happen. But it really doesn't seem likely. The, start, the starting areas are the zones where you're going to find the most quests to do. They're going to be the zones that are packed full of quests. And like, as you get up into the 30s and 40s, zones aren't really like that anymore. So if we have zones that are packed full of quests and we're not out-leveling them now, it seems pretty unlikely to me that we will out-level the zones later on. But we'll have to see if everything is cumulative and how things pan out. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate all the support. 
does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves and each other, and we will see you back in the Season of Mastery really, really soon. Bye now.